quickly finding out that the technique for drilling wasn't really working out. And like sometimes I pull this shit off the top of my head and it's like, we gotta find out if it works. The only way to do that is to watch you guys. Right? So let's make this a little more applicable for the street. This is a good lesson for us is like, don't believe everything you hear, right? We, we can see something and it looks great when we drill it. A lot of the time that's the case. And then, you know, Kyle threw your, your chat, right? It looks pretty. And in slow motion, when it's cooperative, it looks fucking awesome, right? In reality, throw the jab, bring it back into the pocket. And, and this is the, and now keep hitting me the whole time, don't let me get it, right? This is like really what it, what it ends up becoming, right? And a fucking, and just like everything else that we talked about, how grappling is so important, wrestling is so important. So this is really what it ends up looking like. So what I want to do here is just get a drill of getting the underhook and over the neck, right? And I want you guys just to work on getting here and seeing if you can drag them down and tip them over, right? See how much you can throw them around and move them around. If you can get the other guy, man, don't, don't slam each other on the deck, but if you can get the other guy, get in here, and if you can actually get him down, well, that's really good sign that you're, you're, whatever you're doing with your body is working, your body mechanics, right? So instead of worrying about all this bullshit, we come here and we try to chop down, I mean, that works in theory, right? Um, and it can work on the mats, it can work on the street, like if the stars align just right. But again, in reality, what's gonna be is more of a wrestling match. And if we can get good posture control so he can't uh, posture back up, posture back up, if he can't do this, I'm getting him down here nice, I can maybe then work on throwing him around a little bit and then we can add in some knees or we can add in some head butts and something else from there. But I want you to work on just breaking this posture down, getting on the inside so that throw the one who's at me, getting on the inside that he's not able to hurt me anymore. And then maybe I can work on throwing and moving him around a little bit. So we're just gonna try to get on the inside. I want partners to one, two, one, two. We're gonna crash through that guard, get on the inside and I'll work with you guys on that. And then try to throw him down or move him around a little bit. If See guys how we talk about the crashing in. See how Emily is crashing in on Kyle. Go ahead and do that again, Emily. She's crashing in and she's tying him up and trying to move him around just a little bit. And this is a really good drill just to get used to that grapple and moving a grown man around, right? So we are crashing in. We're not just flailing about. We are crashing in and protecting ourselves. And then these guys down here are really going at it. Oh uh, yeah, guys. All right, so that's that's what we like to do is crash in on the inside. Go ahead, go get a rep in, guys. We're gonna crash in, boom, and then we go and tie them up and try to move them around, just like that. Yeah, see, it ends up in a grapple a lot of the time, so that's why we gotta be good grappling and wrestling as well.